let me show you a service that's going to save you hundreds of hours from pointless surfing around on Instagram and TikTok. Sometimes we need to just stop scrolling and wasting time and get into finding user generated content that's for analyzing or offering services or whatever you want to use this content for. So the service that I'm talking about is called Archive and it's going to help us in that area. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? We are going to check out Archive. And one of the biggest features that I find on Archive is their really smart AI search feature. That means that I don't have to scroll around and try to find a hashtag. It can actually find in the image what I'm looking for. So if I'm looking for coffee, for shoes, for dress, people drinking something, etc., I can find it with the search bar. So it's really smart. Aside from that, I can save collections. I can do a whole lot with this platform. So the idea is to find user generated content for my needs instead of scrolling around and wasting hundreds of hours looking through pointless uh, posts with this, I'm going to save time. So let's jump over to my dashboard. And what I've done is I already added my profile for Instagram and TikTok. So I'm able to view stories and posts really easily from here. I can view videos just from here. I can download videos. I can save them. I can create a collection for them. And we're going to get started with my favorite feature, which is the search bar. Okay. So right from the search bar, I can search for things like, for example, curly hair, beauty routine, indoor workouts. So it's not just about a picture or a hashtag. It's actually what is going on in the picture and video. So for example, I can say drinking coffee because right now I'm in the coffee business. So that's why I'm trying to search for these kind of things. Okay. So you'll find posts that are ready made from here. Now it'll start from what it really found through less common ones. Okay. So that's how it's going to go. For example, this person right here, I'm going to click on it and she's actually drinking a coffee and that was found through AI. Why? Because this is not in the tags. It's not in the comments. It's just that it found it with AI. Here's another one. Well, I can't click on it, but she's drinking coffee. She's about to drink coffee. How about this one? Are they going to drink the coffee or is it just about coffee? Boom, drinking coffee. Check that out. I mean, try, try going through a hundred thousands of stories and trying to find someone drinking coffee with this. It found it easily. Okay. Now, what else can we find? For example, I'm going to search for a beach. That's pretty simple, right? But here's a beach and I should see me saying posts that have to do with a beach. So here's a beach. Here's a beach. I bet you that in that video, there's a beach. Also, that's me in the beach and here's some other beach one. So it's really easy to use this search bar. Now there's several options with the search. Now this is finding in visual search only, but you can also use it from the transcript and the captions. So if you're looking specifically for that word in the transcripts or the captions, it'll find it. So it's pretty cool. For example, the transcript, if someone talked about a beach or drinking a coffee or something like that, then it will find it with that setting. Okay. Coffee. I'll find a bunch of posts with coffee. Let's just say that I need videos with coffee or maybe I want to offer these people something because I make coffee, right? Maybe I sell coffee um, by the bulk so I can offer them coffee because I'm finding their profiles and I can have them make videos for me. Okay, it could be an example, right? Now you can add filters. You can search with the image super search image match. So if you have an image that matches something that you're looking for, maybe you don't know how to describe it. Well, it'll find similar images with that. Okay, now. What if I like these coffee ones? Well, I can go ahead and save them. I can save to my coffee collection. Let's say I like this one also. Let's go ahead and save it. All right. And I can go ahead and create a collection from here. Or what if I need to download this video? Let's go ahead and do it. Go ahead and download it. Let's go ahead and open it up right now. And here we go. We have that video just like that. All right. So I didn't have to go search. I didn't have to go to Instagram. I didn't do. I didn't have to do a whole bunch of things to do that. Now, if this is a TikTok video, I can actually download it without the logos. So let me show you that example. I saved in the collections one TikTok video here, which is a beach. Here we go. Here's a beach. So let me click play really quickly. You can see there's a logo right there, the TikTok logo. And at the end, remember when you download a video, you have that TikTok ending. Well, with this tool, with Archive, I can go ahead and download it without any logos. So I'm going to do that. Let me open it up. There we go. Here's the beach. No logos in the between, in the middle or on the side or on the end. No logos are at all. Now that's an option that I can tick on or off if I like. Okay. If, if I do want the logos, I can go ahead and download it with the logos. Okay. So let's go back into content. So like I said, we can do all of that. What else can we do? I can go ahead and copy the link. If I just want to jump over there, if I need to see the other images in this particular post, I can do so. The comments, 
how long ago was it posted looking for usage rights so let's just say that i like this sushi image all right and i'm looking for for the rights for this and right here i can add my own message so in this case i can use this one that's created by default i can create my own and then save it as the default message i can also offer a reward so if i want to offer a payment for this image so it makes things easy it makes it flow okay in this case i don't want to offer payment i just want to get the usage rights so i can go ahead and copy the message and the link jump over there here we go message this person and boom just paste the link right there so it's going to send the message plus a link let me take you to this link so you see how it looks go to that link that's what the person's going to click on and it's asking for the usage right so me the instagram that i sent it from is asking to use your content so i can approve it or reject it so i'm getting the rights to use this really easily with this and if i offer them a payment well it'll go through the process of the payment right there so it's pretty cool right i mean it makes things flow and makes it really easy what else can we do here we can label this social profile so this particular one if we like to there's the options for open the original post show similar content so if i like this sushi one let's just ask it to find it more sushi posts there we go we can show content from this particular profile we can hide content from this profile or delete from library okay now like i said we were able to create profiles from here so if i add it to one of mine right here so i'll just say uh, sushi i'll go ahead and create it and i'll go ahead and save anything that i like from sushi and i can view them here in my collections so i got my sushi collection i got my beach collection i got my coffee collection i got my wife collection and it's really easy for me to come back and see those safe posts really easily stories and posts okay so that's for the content there's also the social profiles and in social profiles we're able to get a lot of information from these particular profiles from the ones that are tied to our particular searches and those hashtags are added in the settings which i'll show you in a bit for example we're able to view this profile and click on it i can label this profile for example i labeled these two as verified so i can later find them i can view their follow followers last post post total ig post etc all the information here all the way from comments total and share totals now i can download this data as a csv if i need it so it's pretty cool because i can use it for another automation service if i like okay next we got reports so I'm, i can get reports from everything that's going on on my profiles who is um, tagging me and all of that from here content count my ig real count ig stories count and the information there from seven days 30 or custom total engagement by post there we go social profile activity by post date and we're able to view all the information here so again really good information if this helps you out there's add filters if we like and there's all these filters to obviously filter this out shoppable feeds so if you want to book a demo for this that is possible next we have the integration so in integrations there's the integration for slack notifications shoppable ugc feed and api uh, apis is awesome for automation if you're especially um, connecting through another automation that you want to use archive this is really good and coming soon so do check this out this list and say you, if you're interested so they add that integration next is the settings so in settings hashtags really help out archive know what you are looking for so in my case like i said i'm looking for coffee so cafe organico things from my city from another city that, that i go to the beach another some more coffee tags and that's the in, the content that i'm interested in so that's what i want to view and that's what i want to work on but add the hashtags that you need for your particular business okay missing ugc from instagram or tiktok well go ahead and add it here by pasting the link bulk label profiles automatically like mentions so if you want to tick this on for auto like stories you can do so digest if you want to have that add team members sources well i connected my instagram and my tiktok you can add more accounts depending on your plan now if you want to view other workspaces that you have you can do so here or add a new workspace again depending on the plan that you are on so like I said, Archive is a really great tool that's going to save you hundreds of hours. I mean, this is for people who don't want to waste time scrolling around through every single post or a particular hashtag that you need to type in and just scroll around and waste a lot of hours. Well, you can do it from here in basically a few hours instead of saving, instead of using 100 hours doing things the manual way on your phone or on your computer and just wasting a lot of time. Plus, that AI search feature is Taylor, do check it out yourself. The link will be provided in the description for archive. And that's a wrap.